Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use shape tweens or in-betweens, and I'm also going to show you how to use the ease effect, including how to apply different styles of easing. So basically, different accelerations and stopping speeds and things like that. What am I talking about? Let me just show you instead of telling you. All right, I've got my selection here selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit play here, and you will see. There she goes, there goes the ball, you'll see that, okay, it bounced there, and they just basically move at different speeds. They speed up, they slow down in speed, decelerate, etc. All right, now, let's go ahead and do this from scratch. So, what I've gone here is so I can show you exactly what I did. I'm going to go File New, and let's just create a new one from scratch. So, I'm just going to select HD 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, standard HD, standard stuff. I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm just going to write fit in window so that you can see a little better. Okay, we've got layer one. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on new layer. And then on this layer, I'm just going to draw a simple ball to show you how to do this or a simple oval. That's probably a better way to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw out an oval. I'll hold down alt or option so that it's drawn uh, from the center. And when you hold down shift key, it's also drawn symmetrically. So we've got ourselves a cool little ball, and I'm just going to position it over here somewhere. Okay, good. Now I want this, in, this uh, animation to be five seconds long, so I'm going to go out to the five second mark, which is also the 150 frames, because it would be five seconds times 30 frames is 150 frames. And I'm going to go ahead and left click on this little button here, or a little tab more so, and I'm going to select both the top and the bottom, the both layers here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create keyframes. So I'm going to go over to here and then I'm just going to left click on frame. Actually, you know what? I'm going to left click on keyframes because these are all going to be keyframes. Left clicking on keyframes. Here we go. There we go. Now we've got some keyframes and what this means is I can basically slide my playhead along. Now selecting the top layer, the bottom layer is of no value, so I'm just going to lock it. I'm going to select the top layer. And now you're going to notice here before I proceed that I have auto keyframe selected, meaning there is a check mark beside auto keyframe, as you can see. If you do not see that, you will want to left click on this and make sure that it is selected. And it's right here under the keyframe button here. I'm going to move to the first second, which is 30 frames in. And then I'm going to move this circle or this sphere. Oops, I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to, I double clicked it and I didn't mean to. And I'm going to move it down to about here. And then at the second second right here, I'm going to move it up to here. So I'm basically just building a very simple animation just to show you the technique. I'm going to the third second. I'm going to move it down to here somewhere. And at second four, I'm going to move it to the top. There we go. Okay, so what do we have so far? Let's move this to the beginning and hit play. Click, 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 click. All right, good. We've got a very basic animation, but we have no in-betweening. We have no tweening, and that's what we want to work on here. So the next step, and the, probably the one you've been waiting for me to get to, is for on this layer, you can select any one of these keyframes in between the first, the big keyframe here, where they, we start the ball moving, or the sphere moving, and the start. So anywhere in here, I'm just going to select a random keyframe, and when I do that, I'm going to left-click on it, and you're going to see here that I've got some options. In particular, if we go up to the timeline, you're going to see here that on this button here, we have the option to create a classic tween, a motion tween, and a shape tween. I currently have shape tween selected. That's the one that we want. So I'm going to left click. And when I do that, I get, I A, create a shape tween, and B, I get this cool arrow looking thing. What does that mean now? Look, here we go. When I hit play, it actually tweened, so it animated the motion from the beginning right to the point. Now, this is something you don't necessarily have to do, but I like it, and it's good for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and do this very quickly for the other ones. I'm going to click on any random keyframe, and then I'm going to go create shape tween. I'm going to click one here between these two, create shape tween, and I'm going to do it again for the final one. I'm going to create a shape tween. So... What we've got here is we've got basically a bouncing ball that just goes up and down with shape tweening. That might be enough 
for some of you, but you probably want to learn a little more, so let's keep going. All right, the next step is I'm going to go ahead and click on this loop option, and when you do that, you get these little handlebars here. I'm going to drag the right one out all the way to five seconds, and the reason why is when I hit spacebar, or pardon me, when I hit the play return button, it's the return key in Animate, not spacebar, um, <laughs> I'm mixing up Premiere Pro and Animate, um, it will just keep playing it over and over and over again. So it basically just loops it. So here we go. We've got the loop in effect. Great. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to move this now to the beginning. And now we're going to work on the final cool stuff. The last step in this tutorial is we're going to want to change the easing or the ease effect. The way to do that is I'm just going to left click. And you're going to see here that on the right side here under properties, there's something called tweening, which is what we've done but you will see that there are effects. Now, when you left click on it, I left click on classic ease, and you will see a few options. Classic ease is basically just linear ease. It's not very, very useful. For this first one, I'm gonna go ease in and ease out, and I'm gonna select the top one, which is quad. Now, please note that you have to double click in order to apply this. It's not a single click. It can be a little frustrating if you're not used to that, so double click. And you're gonna see here already that the shape moved a little bit. And when I go to the beginning and I hit play, you're gonna see that it doesn't quite move in a linear fashion. There's some increase and decrease in acceleration, deceleration. Let me hit, let me go. There you go, did you see it? All right, it's pretty subtle, but it's very effective and it's a nice way to get a more natural looking animation. Now I'm gonna select any of the keyframes between the second set and I'm gonna show you a different one. I'm gonna again go to tweening classic ease but instead of ease in to out quad I'm gonna try something like a bounce this is uh, pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and double click it just to be sure in order to apply it now you don't always know it's applied because you can't see it on the timeline here but you will see over in the top right that it says effect bounce ease in out I'm gonna go move to the third one here I'm gonna click on it and this one I'm gonna go from classic ease this one I'm gonna go with, let's go with an ease out, and let's go with an elastic one, why not? Okay, we're just, we're gonna be experimenting here. And then the final one, I'll go ahead and left click. And instead of a classic ease, I'm gonna go classic ease, I'm gonna go ease into out. And let's go with something like a, ooh, that looks cool. Let's go with a circ. So we're gonna go with like a circ, whatever that is, I'm gonna double click it to apply. Now, we've applied four different styles of motion um, uh, animate tween. So we're, we've got four styles here. Let's go ahead and click play and see what we got. Slow roll, bouncing, bouncing, elastic, bouncing. We've got the loop on. And you can see here that there's a few different styles that are kind of cool. I personally like the first one a little more than the other ones. But I want you to know they're there. This is how you do a proper uh, shape tween and how you go ahead and do the effects on tween. So guys, I hope this video helped you. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned, I'll be back soon.